Your Excellency, it's horrible! The road, the road, it's gone! Huh? There's a giant hole on the other side of a meat hill! It's burning hot all around it. I wasn't able to get very close. What? J just like that? I suppose that's what all that rumbling was earlier. Even if we were able to get near that hole, getting across it would be impossible. No one will be able to go past a meat hill like this. So then, Nor is cut off from everyone else? This is bad. This is real bad. Could this be the blast from the Heracles cannon? What have they done? So it did end up hitting something after all. Thankfully, it missed hitting any of the towns. You guys sure you're all right? No, I heard all over, but Estelle's in trouble. I can't just lie around. Yeah, what he said. What's our next move, though? If the road to Emmied Hill is out, couldn't we take a boat around? I'm afraid not. A little while back, the Knights came and took any boat that could make a long trip. Thanks to them, the harbor's dead empty. How about repairing the Fiertia and heading round by sea? The keel's all smashed up, so it'll take a while to fix it. Damn, at a time like this. Well, there is one way, but I'm just not sure how I feel about recommending it to you. If it'll get us through, let's hear it. We've got to get to the capital fast. I'm afraid it'll end up taking you a fair bit out of your way. But if you go north, just before Emmied Hill, there's a thin strip of coastline. It'll eventually come to a dead end, but in this season it freezes over and becomes an ice flow. The Blade Drifts of Zophair. Right. If you're lucky, you should be able to make your way across the flow on the ice. So in other words, if we go across there, we can take a detour to the middle of the continent. The Blade Drifts of Zophair, huh? I heard nobody goes there, not even fishermen, because of the stories. You're also gambling on nature here. So there's no guarantee you'll be able to get through. Nature, after all, is more often the enemy of man. Quite the keen observation, Patty. If that's our only way, then we'll have to go for it. Okay, let's do it. Thanks for your help. Least I can do. There wouldn't be much left of this family if it weren't for you all. Only thing I'll ask is that you don't disappoint my boy. You got it! If Emmied Hill is blocked off, none of the people stuck in the capital will be able to escape. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they can fly. If the air in the skies above the capital keeps increasing, all living things will be in danger. And if we let that happen, we won't be able to go near the capital ourselves. All the more reason to stop talking and start moving. Make good practice. One shot should do. I feel like an easy win. I guess I'll go easy on them. That's what happens when I get serious.
Hold still. I'll make this quick. Hold still. I'll make this quick. It's cold. So very cold. Okay, old man, we get it already. The aged have lower body temperatures, you know? Oh, what I wouldn't give for the heat of that desert. You're gonna slip and fall if you don't shut up. Oops, too late. Watch it there. We old folks are fragile. Uh, sorry. Man, this is really some place. Sort of a cross between mysterious and just plain creepy. There are swords coming up out of the ice. Yeah, they seem to be all over. Just what kind of place is this? They're relics of a battle that happened long ago between pirates and the Empire. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I I've heard about that. You're just full of information, aren't you? stuff that I picked up when I was researching about Ifried. I thought Zophair got its name from the sharp cold, but I guess I was wrong. I don't think you were too far off with cold as a void. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Ah! Whoa! Huh? What was that? It's big! Is that an Entelikea? No, I don't sense intelligence in it. So it's a monster, right? We'd be in trouble if that thing attacked us. It's a bite of Joe. A monster with a rigid, sparkly back and a super strong body. It shouldn't bother us if we leave it alone. Forget about it. Let's go. Carol! Huh? Oh, right! Nothing personal. Nice moves. I'm just getting started. Ugh, you need to take a chill pill. It looks like he's taken a liking to us. I prefer dates who are a little less aggressive. I wonder if we can catch it somehow. You want to eat it or something? Cold water fish have more fat to insulate their bodies from the low temperatures, making them oh so delicious. White meat is just perfect for skewers. Uh, that's not a fish, you know. That thing's a monster.
feel like an easy win. I guess I'll go easy on them. I'm just getting started. They're wide open. Let's take care of them quick. It's over. I got water up my nose. <laughs> so salty, so cold. You sure are energetic, old man. If we just sit around t talking, we're gonna f freeze our butts off. <laughs> Patty, this would be a great time for some of your piping hot skewers. It's frozen. Uh, uh, <laughs> How annoying. Oh, there's no challenge at all. Let me at him! Watch out! Here I go! We need something... nice. Let's let in one of the girls. That means you're out, Raven! Uh, no. <sighs> weird. That monster seems to have times when it bothers us, and times when it leaves us alone. Yeah, I don't like it one bit. If we stand on really thick ice, I don't think that we need to worry about being attacked. If that thing comes at us, we can just kick its butt. Bring it on! I'd really prefer not fighting something like that head-on at the moment. Let's get back to land as soon as we can. And back to someplace warm. <laughs> This? I know I've seen this somewhere. It's an air crane! Huh. There's one even out here. It's not putting out any air, though. Maybe it's what's left over when they dry up. This area doesn't seem desolate enough for that, though. Everyone be on your guard. Oh, man! Th there it is again! We're up on this rock, right? We'll be fine. Or not. Uh, Yuri! Uh. A 
monster that uses an air crenna to trap its prey? How could I have been so careless? I should have known. Carol, run! No way! You guys will all get eaten up! This isn't something you can beat on your own! But... <laughs> Check them! No more running! Carol, stop this! It's crazy! I can't watch this. I told you to get out of here! If you keep this up, you're gonna die! Uh, I'm fine! You most certainly are not! No, it's alright! You guys are all here with me! Carol, don't! You're all right behind me. So no matter how bad I'm beat up, I can't lose! Move, damn it! If you don't, the kid's gonna... He... You're mine! How the hell did he pull that off? Hey, is he alive? Hey, guys. Sorry we're late. Traffic was awful. You doing all right? Yeah, of course. All right, let's pay this guy back double for all those knocks you took. Sorry we left you alone. We're with you this time! We're gonna do this together this time. Thanks! 
I'll finish it this time! Do it! Let's finish him off! You're being too easy on the kid! We are brave Vesperia! Luna! <laughs> Don't try to do everything alone. Show off! But you did very well.
I'm not done yet. Ooh, that's nice. I just keep getting stronger. That's the logical outcome. We did it! You idiot! What were you thinking doing that alone? Carol! Carol! Hey, Carol! Come on, keep it together, kid. He's all right. Once he calmed down, it all went out of him. He's just passed out. <sighs> this kid. What if you checked out before we even rescued Estelle? Cut him a little slack now. Facing down challenges like that is part of becoming a man. Not to mention he saved our butts. Yeah, we would have been lunch without Carol. <clears throat> Facing down challenges. Exactly. Those times when you just know you can't turn tail and run. Hell, everybody has those moments at least once in their life. Let's get out of here quickly. Carol's weak. This can't be good for him. Right. I owe you one, boss. That was very impressive. Does that look like an exit to anybody else? Tired already? We old folks lack stamina. Judith, be a dear and take him for a spell. Oh, I wouldn't dream of stealing your job from you. Carol, you're awake, aren't you? N no, I'm not. Ugh! Wow, Carol, you're really good at pretending to be asleep. Forcing a poor old man to work in this cold. Mr. Carroll, you're made of tougher stuff than I might have guessed. Feeling better, Carol? Yeah. We were really worried about you. Me too. You didn't look that worried to me. Really? That's weird. <clears throat> Just never do that again, okay? We're all in this together. Okay. Mind telling me what's so funny? Hey, easy, Yuri. I was just remembering something the Dawn said. Take care of your friends and they'll be there when you need them. Was that it? Yeah. I was thinking maybe this is the kind of thing he meant. Well, if you feel like you understand what he said, I'm sure you're on the right track. I hope so. All right. The exit's right in front of us. Let's go. Everything all right? Yeah. I was just thinking that maybe all the ice here was made by the air. The ice? From the air? Well, if all things are made up of air, that would make sense. The air crene here was actually quite stabilized. Enough for a monster to control it. Maybe, if huge quantities of air could be made solid, it would- You mean something like that could restore the air imbalance and stop the disturbances? I'm not sure. It would probably need to be more efficient, and it would take a lot more air. It sure would be awesome if we could do that, though. So, you want to stay here and research this air crane? No, there isn't time for that. Yeah, and we've already burned enough time here as it is. Let's go. Estelle, please be okay. <sighs> Once we're out of here, let's ask somebody about what's happening in the capital. Sure thing.
There sure are a lot of people here. They're refugees from the capital. See how they're all well-dressed? It looks like there's nothing unusual with the barrier here for now. <sighs> Carol, are you okay? Looks like he ain't okay at all. He's got a bad fever. He really overexerted himself. All because he had to go and be a hero. I swear. Yuri. Huh? Oh, sorry. Let's go to the inn so that Carol can rest. Hello, and welcome to Denabola Inn. Don't worry about paying. Huh? Why? Probably because we don't look like we have any money. Well, you see, an important official is visiting the mayor's house right now, and it's by his orders. The government's handling the money for the inn so that anyone can stay here for free. That must be for all the refugees that have come to the town. Circumstances being what they are, it takes the fun out of it. But our business is booming, thanks to all the visitors to our town. Sounds like a good deal for the Empire. So does that mean you don't have any vacancies? You're in luck. I have one room that's not taken. <sighs> then I'll take that room, thank you. Hey there, no cutting in line. Of course, I wouldn't think of not paying. I'll pay ten times the regular price. I'll also give the same amount to you travelers. That should settle things nicely, yes? You son of a... Oh, I'm so sorry. I took another look at the register, and it seems that I don't actually have any vacancies. So sorry. Come again. What? I knew this town was in the sticks, but this is... Honey, let's just go on to Heliord from Nor Harbor. Well said. I should be thankful we don't soil our clothing in a filthy little hovel like this. They're going to be in for a nasty surprise when they try to go to Port Nor. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. Your room is upstairs, in front. What? But you said there weren't any vacancies. Business is business, right? Yes, don't worry about it. I can't stand people like that. And wasn't it you who saved Halur's tree? This is the least I can do. Enjoy your stay. All those refugees. The capital must be in a sorry state. What evil you think that bastard Alexei is going to perpetrate next? There's no way I'm letting Alexei get away with all the stuff he's done. Who cares about Alexei? Estelle. I want to save Estelle. Yes, but to do that, we need to take care of Alexei. And we need to come up with a better plan to do it. We can't let ourselves get blasted all the way back to Nor Harbor again. <sighs> well, we can't go anywhere till Carol gets better. So we might as well gather some info around town, don't you think? Good idea. Someone might end up saying just the thing we need to hear. Wasn't the innkeeper saying that someone important from the capital was in the mayor's house? Let's go and have a look-see. Old man? Someone's got to look after the boy, don't they? Leave that to me. You kids go on ahead. I'm so glad you were all safe. Huh. You did this, right? 
Had the inn open its rooms free of charge? And just who are you? Watch your tongue. Do you know to whom you are... There are many who have escaped with only the shirts on their backs. I felt this was one service their country could provide for them. Hmm, okay. Actually, I'm more interested in what you can tell me about the capital. The capital? Zophius is no longer a city fit for any person. The city's barrier Blastia began giving off a great light, and the town was racked by earthquakes and lightning. However, the real terror came after that. A glowing fog appeared from the barrier Blastia and quickly spread throughout the city. The plants it touched grew hideously large, and the water became poison. It was hell itself. The air is out of control. Oh, that such dire events could befall Zophius, jewel of our glorious empire. If the air has covered the entire city, what is he doing to her? The this is that turncoat Alexei's doing. I'm sure of it. He came to us demanding our obedience. And when we refused, he swore he would reduce us to dust. Alexei? That beast even had the gall to t turn the royal guard on us after we made our escape. Then how did you come all this way unharmed? Flynn held them off for us. It is thanks to him that we refugees arrived here safely. If he hadn't come to our aid just then... We all would have died. Oh, I'd love to hear more about how great Flynn is, believe me. But I haven't seen anyone from the lower quarter here. What happened to them? I'm sorry. I haven't seen anyone either. They must have been left behind, with all that air flooding out. It was all we could do to save ourselves. With all that was happening, we were unable to take everyone with us. We did all we could, and you must understand. Oh, yeah? Hey. I'll be at the end. <sighs> His Highness is... It sounds like the entire capital's been covered in air. And the one in the middle of it all is most likely. That's insane. If he's using Estelle to cause all of that, then... Oh, she can't handle that. Who knows how much of a toll it takes on her each time she's forced to use her power. She was already having problems controlling it. Now there's no telling what will happen to her. What if... What if we get there too late and... Even if we take out Alexei, she... Do... do you think maybe there's a way to get her power under control? There is. There has to be. We just haven't found it yet. Ah. Uh, hmm. Hey, what about the knights? Flynn's doing what he can, but it's not enough. They don't have De Nomos. Hmm. I'll try asking Pharaoh. It would be good to know how much time we have left. Yuri! Hey, did we wake you up? How are you feeling? Looks like I slowed you guys down again. You're going to the capital, right? Don't worry about that now. We're still figuring out what to do. You just get better. Yeah, I just don't want to be left behind, okay? Our whole guild is gonna rescue Estelle! <sighs> I know. Why don't you try and get some more sleep, huh? Okay. I can't seem to reach him. The air may be causing interference. No big deal. Either way, it's just a matter of making Alexei sorry he ever started this. Right? And nothing more? I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Keep an eye on Carol for me. Yuri! What's with a long face? You don't need to worry about me. <sighs> a job nobody wants to do.
Are you going out alone? I don't think that's any of your highness's concern. I want to know how things are in the lower quarter, so I'm just going to go take a look. The council has decided to bring formal charges of criminal conspiracy against Alexei. The knights are currently forming a strategy for re-entering the capital from Dayton Hold. With all that air in the city? <laughs> I doubt they'll get very far. Esteliz is with Alexei, isn't she? How did... So you caught on, huh? I wondered why you didn't bring her up earlier. What do you intend to do about her? What do you mean? All those who carry the Imperial blood possess a certain power. In most of us, it is too faint to be of use, but I have heard that hers is extraordinary. I'm sure it was for this reason that the Council threw their support behind her. Why are you bringing this up now? Isn't this current disaster being caused by her power? So what if it is? The Knights may have to... You are aware that defeating Alexei may not be enough. That's not going to happen. Because you'll do it yourself? Flynn told me about you, that you always try to carry far too much on your own shoulders. You can tell him that we'll be just fine without the help. But why? I thought I told you this isn't your concern. That sword. Perhaps you are just the person it was waiting for. Keep talking, and I'll try it out on you. Forgive me.